hello, 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 and welcome to this good old hump day. Today, I am bringing you guys an abundance of roles on this good old video, and we are definitely highlighting our friends at Pepsi today, but I do have some other opportunities for you that I did want to take you through and go over. It is definitely going to be something on this video for everyone. We are going to go through tier level roles, which means there are going to be different tiers of requirements for the different roles that we go over. Some may require a little more experience, some may require a little less experience, but make sure you stay tuned to see all of the opportunities so you can see which one is a better fit for you and then take action and go apply, all right? So let's head right into our very first opportunity today. This is what the company called Greenway Health. Greenway Health is a large provider of software for electric healthcare records, revenue cycle management and medical coding and billing. So this software helps a lot of different health systems be able to run their day to day. This specific role I'm bringing to you today is for my bilingual folks. If you are not bilingual, do not worry. I have another role with this company that does not require you to be bilingual, but I did want to bring this to any of my viewers, any of the family members out there who does speak multiple languages, this may be a great opportunity for you. This is remote no matter where you are sitting in the United States. It is their customer service associate role and getting more into the details of the shift time this is going to be a later in the a.m shift start time this is going to be a 10 a.m to 7 p.m eastern standard time role the duties for this role is the basis of answering inbound patient calls you'll also return patient calls daily and assist them with their questions regarding their billing statements you'll fully understand and follow all guidance pertaining to hipaa and personal health insurance documents and regulations you'll resolve patient issues by researching a patient's account and correcting insurance information, demographical information, and any other pertinent account information to make sure that their account is brought up to par and updated so it has the right billing information. You'll communicate with patients on any questions they have regarding visit information. You'll also get back to them based on the standard operation procedures that they have in place. You'll complete all aspects of collection processing for assigned clients in a timely, accurate, and high quality manner. You'll successfully work with a team environment to escalate questions and outstanding work appropriately. You'll work on managing open patient inquiry cases through full resolution, assist, train, and consult with other departments as needed. You'll participate in continuous education of applicable software and hardware and participate in departmental in other settings as requested and required. You'll ensure the management is made aware of client issues or problems in a timely manner. Now, what they're looking for from you is a high school diploma or a GED. If you do have an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree, that is gonna be a plus, but you don't need it to get the job. It's gonna just get you higher on a candidate pool. You are gonna need one to two years of customer service experience. Healthcare experience is a plus, medical software experience, experience is a plus and then also medical office experience but the main things you're going to need is that high school diploma and at least one or two years of customer service experience so it is more entry level now other skills knowledge and abilities that they're looking for is being strong with your verbal and written communication skills having really great customer service skills and being professional at a high level having a strong desire to learn and be able to be innovative and take an initiative if you have solid computer skills that include working with microsoft all Office Word and Excel. That is also going to be great. And then managing a variety of tasks concurrently or all together. And then also being able to speak Spanish. Then they have some physical environmental demands here. You must be able to sit and manage your workload throughout the day. Some of the benefits you'll get is a competitive pay, medical, dental, and vision benefits, matching 401k, generous paid time off, educational reimbursement, growth potential for your career, and corporate discounts. So if you are interested in this customer service associate role with Greenway Health, head on over to their website quickly and get your application in. You know these actual positions go very quickly. Now, I was able to go a step further and locate the actual salary for this customer support role. And this one is paying about 16 to $22 an hour, which is about at the high end, $56,000 a year. So for it to be more of an entry level, only requiring one to two years of experience and a high school diploma, this is about the range they're actually paying for this role. So if you're interested in it, head on over to Greenway Health and get that application in. Moving on to the next opportunity I have for you. This is also through 
Guru Greenway Health. This is their client success advisor role, completely remote in the US, no matter where you are. Now, this specific role, what you're gonna do in your day-to-day -day is define and track short and long-term goals and partnership with customers. You'll proactively outreach bi-weekly or weekly based on established the partner protocols. You'll develop and build deep relationships across multiple client stakeholders. You'll ensure thorough documentation of customer activities, drive customer adaption of newly innovative and implemented software and services. You'll obtain product feedback, you'll own and ensure the necessary customer communications. You'll manage executive sponsor programs, ensure hardware, software, and version adaptions to support where appropriately. You'll also leverage survey feedback and follow-up action plans to improve sentiment. You'll act as a quarterback and voice of clients for all concerns and issues and resolutions. And you'll be a accountable for key performance indicators for assigned client. Now, so the basis of that role is just really finding health systems and being able to make sure that they have some type of software in place. If not, you'll refer them to Greenway and then make sure that all their client needs are met. The educational and experience requirement for this role is having a high school diploma or a GED. If you do have a bachelor's degree or equivalent work experience, which is like four years of experience, they are looking for that. So you don't need the bachelor's degree if you do have at least three to four years of experience. And then the third one is that three plus years of experience managing customer accounts. Now, other things that they're looking for is having a key understanding of Greenway Solutions and how they fit into ambulatory care space with customer needs. Needs. You're also going to need strong industry regulatory and the product knowledge, have really great commitment to continuous education, be able to clearly articulate business issues and resolutions and negotiate at a senior management level, be able to provide internal transparency on the needs of customers, excellent listening, communication and presentation skills, help facilitating and adopting change internally and externally, having strong delegation skills, having excellent interpersonal skills and being able to work with a variety of personality types and being able to identify cross-sell opportunities. Now, you also will get a competitive pay, medical, dental, and vision insurance, 401k with the matching company match, generous paid time off, educational reimbursement, growth potential for your career, and then corporate discounts as well. Now, for this client success advisor role, this role is paying a higher rate of pay at about $55,000 up to $92,000 per year annually with the middle range being about 71000 So a really nice rate of pay for it to be a remote work from home job and for you to have about three, four years of experience. So if you are interested in this client success role, definitely head on over to Greenway Health and get that application in. Now I did want to quickly run through some keywords that you can utilize on your resume for this specific opportunity. Some of those keywords may be managing executive sponsored programs, proactive outreach, establishing department protocols or proactive outreach to stakeholders, deep relationships across multiple client stakeholders. You want to also use revenue cycles, ensuring GRS success, key performance indicator KPIs you want to utilize as well, champion customer success. Those are the kind of keywords you definitely want to use. And another one I see really quickly is generating sell leads, okay? So some of those really quick keywords that you can hone in on from the job description to put on your resume. Now, if you are in need of more keywords and you're trying to just figure out what should you be putting on your resume, I do have a resume keyword guide that gives you over 300 different resume keywords and over 11 different industries across the board to help you level up your resume very quickly. And it takes a lot of the guesswork out of what you should be putting on your resume. It takes it all away. It hands you over keywords on a silver platter. So all you have to do is apply them to your resume and you can literally apply apply for the job very quickly. It helps your resume be primed to get through the ATS system, which is the application tracking system. So it doesn't get stopped and it makes it to an actual person. So if you're interested in the resume keyword guide, you can find a link to that down in the description as well as the pinned comments. You'll also get some additional add-ons with the resume keyword guide, which is some things like action words. You'll get some additional remote opportunities and job leads 
and other resources as well. So if you are interested in that, make sure you definitely get your hands on your copy. Once again, you can find a link to that down in the description as well as the pinned comments. Now, moving on to our next opportunity, this is going to be with our friends at Best Western Hotels. Okay, this is their multi-property sales manager role. It is completely remote, no matter where you are in the United States. Now, getting right into the position and what you'll do, the main thing is creating local sell plans through competitive sets and analysts. You'll utilize revenue management tools to ensure property is at maximum revenue opportunities. You'll partner with greater worldwide sales teams to ensure any global accounts are producing and ensuring the brand programs and initiatives are being leveraged locally. Now, what they're looking for from you is a minimum of five years experience in hotel sales, a sales department manager experience like director of sales or regional director of sales is a plus, but mainly you're going to need a minimum of five years of experience in hotel sales. Having a bachelor's degree in hospitality management, business sales, marketing, or related field is going to be a plus. Being proficient with Microsoft Office Suites is going to also be needed. Having and being a self-starter, being motivated, being organized and disciplined, and having strong presentation, communication, and written skills is all going to work in your favor. Have a proven ability to exert a positive impact on revenue generations and strong relationship management skills is also going to be great. And then also having hospitality industry knowledge is going to be a plus. Now, this role does require traveling up to 15% of the role. And then the salary for this position is $72,000 up to $78,000 as base pay. This role, however, is eligible for a bonus and the benefits that you will get is medical, dental, vision, vacation, sick time, floating holidays. You'll get a 401k with the company match and direct contributions, employee discounts and hotel discounts, and then financial and health well-being programs. So if you are interested in this multi-property sales manager role with Best Western, definitely head to their website and get applying quickly. Heading into the next role that I have for you today, Day. This is their brand performance management collection brands role. It is completely remote no matter where you are in the US. And this specific role, you'll manage and improve member values by promoting brand objectives and hotel performance, by providing operational consulting, coaching, quality assessments, and related property support. You'll provide ongoing training to investors, owners, management, and staff to support operations and brand culture. And you'll improve member value by providing brand training, marketing, and related property support. You'll use all relevant tools and resources to strategically analyze and improve operational success. You'll consistently apply Best Western's quality assurance standards by conducting property visits and assessments. You'll meet established transition deadlines by researching, collaborating, identifying, and evaluating pipeline projects to avoid complications. You'll communicate brand initiatives by promoting Best Western monitors, hotel leadership, and their application of brand approaches. And you'll design, develop, and facilitate onboarding training programs aimed to create and support the boutique brand culture. Now, what they're looking for from you is a minimum of five years of hotel general management experience or equivalent, including at least two years of food and beverage management experience. Also being an expert in hotel operations, food and beverage management, revenue management, hospitality, sales, and marketing, as well as finance. Now, if you do have a bachelor's degree in business administration, hotel management, or related field or equivalent combination of education and experience, they are looking for you. If you do have experience, but you only have a high school diploma, they still will consider you for the role. Getting into more of the skills, you're going to need intermediate proficient skills in Microsoft Office suites like Excel. Outlook PowerPoint, strong presentation and training skills. If you are certified in hotel administration, that is going to be strongly preferred. If you're certified as a hospitality trainer, that's going to be highly preferred. Being able to attain Best Western's Quality Assurance Assessor Certificate is going to be a need when you get into the role. Having strong organization and time management skills, having solid ability to coach, develop, and influence, and inspire, being able to analyze budgets and financial results, and to prepare, facilitate, and conduct business reviews. You'll also need to be able to successfully communicate and interface with 
executive level investors, owners, management, and Best Western senior leadership. Now, this specific role is paying $80,000 to $95,000, but it is not bonus eligible. So do keep that in mind when applying for this role. This one may require travel up to 90% of your work time. So this one is definitely more of travel and work. You definitely can be more of a nomad and get your travel paid for. So you'll be in different places. This is definitely probably more for someone who is maybe single and you're not afraid of getting up and going. But any desk work when you're home will be done at home. It will be done remotely. So a really great opportunity here. If you're interested in being and wanting to travel, on a company's dime. Now, you're also gonna need a valid driver's license and proof of insurance based on company guidelines. And then the actual benefits that you get with this role is medical, dental, vision, vacation, sick time, floating holidays, the 401k with the company match, employee discount, hotel discounts, and financial and health well-being programs. So if you are interested in this brand performance manager role with Best Western, head on over and get that application in. Now, moving on to my next opportunity with Pepsi, our friends at Pepsi. This one is gonna be their transportation global programs lead. Now, it is completely remote. When you come to their website, you'll see location-free region, US, that means it is a remote opportunity. Getting down into the actual role and what you'll do within this role, being able to drive strategic choices, deliver breakthrough enterprise capabilities, and optimizing service delivery excellence is going to be the day-to-day -day that you're going to get into. Now, more of the specifics in this role Ensuring successful execution of the transportation control tower program on a global scale. You'll monitor IT solution development and implementations. You'll establish relationships in sector transportation with stakeholders. You'll leverage lessons learned and share best practices. You'll report out to senior leadership as needed, sharing critical KPIs and performance as well. You'll partner with sector markets transportation teams, deploy, sustain controls. You'll assist in detailed transportation processes. You'll drive the training and communication. And then some of the other things is program deliverables, resource and budget allocations, process adherence, system integrations, and technical adaptions. And then they do have some leadership skills here, just being able to have that way about you for change management, being able to provide simple clarification to team members, collaborate really well, and also having a business acumen about you. Now, compensation and benefits, the salary range for this role is going to be $122,000 annually per year, up to $242,000 per year, which is a really, really great high pay. But of course, you do have some of those managerial duties as well. This role is also eligible for a bonus as well based on performance and eligibility. The target payout is 25% of your annual salary, which is really, really good. And then you'll also get an additional target payout of 10% of your salary over a three-year period following the end of your performance periods, okay? So really great, really great rate of pay. Not only are you getting a really great six-figure role, but you're also going to be eligible for about 35% of bonuses of your actual salary, which is great. You'll also get long-term incentive equity based on eligibility and performance, which is equity in a company, which is really good. And if you don't know now, I love when companies give you a piece of the pie of the company. You'll get paid time off as well. And that'll include paid parental leave, vacation, sick and bereavement time, and then comprehensive benefits like medical, dental, vision, disability, health and dependent care, reimbursement accounts, employee assistance, and programs, insurance, and defined contribution retirement plans like a 401k. Qualifications that they're looking for from you is having a minimum of 10 years of supply chain or transportation experience, preferably in a multinational or global organization. Having technical skills, being proficient in various automation softwares and hardwares, digital solutions and supply chains. If you have experience with recording deliverable impact results, that's gonna be really great. Having a proven track record of leading large-scale digital transformation initiatives within supply chain 
automations, having strong leadership skills and being able to inspire and motivate cross-functional teams, and communicating really well with stakeholder management on all different levels of the actual company. So if you are interested in this Transportation Global Program's lead role with Pepsi, make sure you definitely get over quickly and apply for this opportunity if you meet the requirements. Getting into my next role that I have with Pepsi, this is their SC Fleet Coordinator role. This one is also completely remote, no matter where you are in the US. And the responsibilities for this role is basically ordering parts for multiple suppliers to ensure that the fleet technicians have the parts needed in the right quantity and timing, maintaining storeroom style compliance, and supporting the parts program. So the basis of this is literally just hiring supplies for different types of heavy duty equipment and machines like tractors and trailers. So getting more into the details, you'll order fleet parts for multiple storerooms and locations. You'll follow the purchasing compliance guidelines. You'll ensure storeroom style compliances are met. You will evaluate full count inventories and uploads. You'll maintain minimum and maximum inventory levels by the storeroom. You'll partner with local and service teams to maintain part integrity. You'll also assist in developing team and department scorecards and reports. You'll identify trends and recommend corrective action measurements when needed. And then they do have other duties will be assigned as needed. Now your interactions, you'll have about 50% interactions with external suppliers and then 50% interactions of internal fleet teams, key stakeholders, headquarter teams, management, and customers. Now the compensation and benefits for this role is 42,000 up to $67,000 based on a full-time schedule per year, okay? And then you'll also get paid time off. You'll also get really great benefits like the medical, dental, vision, disability, health, dependent care, reimbursement accounts, employee assistant programs, and insurance offerings. Now for this role, they're only requiring a high school diploma or a GED. You are gonna need three plus years of related or relevant work experience. And and that can be an ordering, even if it's in retail or customer service or just handling processes from start to finish, that's what you're gonna need to outline on your resume. Now, you're also gonna need basic knowledge of understanding fleet operations and inventory system operations with the desire to grow and learn in the line of work. You must have strong analytical and problem solving skills in order to formulate effective action plans. You'll also need to have and be proficient in Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, be able to learn internal maintenance and purchase record systems, use problem solving techniques to improve process execution, be able to effectively communicate in a professional and comprehensive constructive manner, be willing to embrace change, be able to produce review various performance reports to drive results, be self-motivated and able to work independently while also working with the team. And you must have a can-do attitude and be willing to assist others in completing activities. So if you are interested in this actual SC fleet coordinator role with Pepsi, make sure you get in and show them some love so you can get that application in and get the interview. Now, if you are wondering what kind of keywords you should utilize for a job just like this one, some of the things you want to use is order fleet parts or fleet part or multiple storerooms. You want to also use purchase compliant guidelines, equipment ordering, inventory compliance, inventory review, inventory analytics, okay? Those are the kind of things you want to utilize for this specific role. Now, if you are in need of keywords for your resume and you're kind of wondering what you should be putting on your resume, you're kind of doing guesswork, I don't want you guys to be doing that. I do have a resume keyword guide that you can find a link to down in the description as well as the pinned comments. The resume keyword guide is going to give you over 300 different resume keywords in over 11 different fields and industries across the board. It does help you make sure that you have really prime keywords on your resume. It also is going to give you some additional bonuses and resources like action words and some other things like job leads. So definitely if you're interested in making sure that your resume is up to par so you can apply for some of the great quality jobs that we went through today on this video, make sure you get your hands on your 
copy of the resume keyword guide. Once again, you can find a link to that down in the description box as well as the pinned comments. Now, if you have not become a part of the official family here on YouTube as of yet, make sure you do so right this minute by subscribing to the channel, turning that bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified each and every time I drop brand new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on anything. I would personally love, love, love to be able to help you find your next really high paying quality remote job opportunity. So make sure you don't miss out on any of these great opportunities that I post weekly and make sure you become a part of the official family today by subscribing to the channel. The doors are wide open to you. Until next time, make sure you continue to thrive and you continue to reach for those good old career goals. And as always, I will see you guys in the very next one. Make sure you continue to be blessed. I'll see you later. Bye.